We're in Microsoft Word 2013. I'm going to show you how to insert an automatic table of contents. Uh, a manual table of contents is where you would just go to References, Table of Contents, and then you would click on the manual table, and then you would go in and fill in that information under the table of contents. We're going to do an automatic one this time. So we're going to go ahead and click at the top here, make sure we get our arrangement the right way, click on References. Now I already have a, a, a paper here that I wrote for a school project a while back, so that's all ready to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a table of contents to that. So first thing we want to do is scroll down to the different headings, highlight those headings that we want to make into a chapter, and then click on Heading 1. We can also make sure that that goes back to being centered as well. And we can click here and click Heading 2. And again, click the center. So we can make these other ones all Heading 2s as well. Because they are not main areas, they are sort of sub areas. Now if we go down here to, to this, this area here is another main area. So we'll make that Heading 1. And we'll just do a couple of more things here. We'll do this one as a heading two. And this one as well. Okay, now we're ready to create our table of contents. It's not the entire paper, but it gives you an idea of what's going on. So we'll go ahead and click on References, Table of Contents, Automatic Table. And you can choose either one or two. And now we can see it automatically found the page numbers. It grabbed the headings and the subheadings as well and put them in the correct order. So if we want, we can edit what we have here at the top or any of these other lines as well. And all you have to do is just go down and edit down here, and then it will edit it up here. So this made the, uh, the ones that were heading 1s to be the main headings and heading 2s to be the subheadings. You can also do the same thing with headings 3 as well to make it a sub to the heading 2s. So that's creating a table of contents and, and uh, how you insert that in the different heading styles in Microsoft Word 2013.